my co-host, she's my partner in crime, and she is this high. Uh, make it loud for Jessica Aladdin! Yvonne, you guys. This makes me nervous. I can't afford that. Nor another drink. Nor another drink. I love Dane. Dude, doing a choose your own adventure. I want to do that. I want to do that. Give me, give me a suggestion. <laughs> that's okay because I don't listen to men anyway, so I wouldn't have taken it. I would not have taken it. So that's great. Oh my god, thank you guys so much for being here. This is our, like, our little, I don't want to say baby because that's weird. Um, <laughs> anyways, my name is Jessica Alanis. I'm so happy that you guys are here. That's what I want to say. Uh, I am Mexican. A lot of people don't believe me when I say that. Are you Mexican? Oh my god, girl. I didn't. I would not have thought that. I know. I would not have thought that. <laughs> Alexa, Jessica, we're not, anything that ends with an A that's Mexican, I'm like, <laughs> you're lying. That's not, that's not right. But I'm third generation Mexican. Are you third gen? Yeah. Which is like, okay, right, so like third gen, if you don't know, it means your great grandparents came to the States because they wanted their kids' kids to be white. <laughs> and they did it, they did it, they succeeded, it's great, it's great. I hate that no one thinks I'm Mexican. It really annoys me. Like, and I don't, I don't speak the language. I'm a no sabo kid. Are you as well? No. Oh, you, okay. Well, this is to you guys then. But she's better than me. <laughs> I loved Alexa, and now I don't like her anymore. I don't speak Spanish, and it's embarrassing because I'll be in conversations with people, and they'll say things. They'll be like, "A ver," and I'm like, "Oh, are you saying Alanis? Are you saying my last name? Oh my God!" Oh, they'll be like, "No, mames." And I'm like, oh no, I have a mom. I don't. I don't have a dad. <laughs> no dadis, okay? No dadis. I went to the doctor and they were like, oh, estás embarazada? And I was like, yeah, I'm a little embarrassed. I'm a little embarrassed right now. And they were like, no, embarazada. And I was like, oh, no, but now I'm on a diet. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Quiero Ozempic. Thank you so much for that. I do, I do try to be more Mexican. I really do. Like, I'll do things. I wear my hair curly. I wear hoop earrings because that's the uniform. You know? I'll say, and shit, at the end of my sentences. So, I'll it up. I've, I've even spent a night in jail once because I'm that committed to being a part of my culture. Yeah. Yes, Club Gen Pop. It's a good place. If you want to get in, I'll give you the recipe. It's great. I, uh, it was just one night, though. It was just one because I'm not that Mexican, you know? Not that Mexican. Uh, I got a DWI when I was in college. Dude, that was expensive, man. I do not recommend college at all. Oh my God. Still paying for that mistake. Are you kidding me? Jail, on the other hand, it's honestly not that bad. It's not that bad. Like, yes, they take away your rights, your privacy, your freedoms, but that's just being a woman in Texas. Okay? It felt like home to me. I was like, this is cozy. This is right. Women shouldn't make decisions. You're right. You're right about that. You're right. You're right. It was a different time, though, you know? It was uh, before Uber and Lyft existed, when you had to have a designated driver. Do you remember that? Like, and if you don't, a designated driver was the one person in your friend group whose only job for the night was to stick to Bud Light. Did you guys have that <laughs> also here? Because that was, that was Texas. That was ours. There's only that one friend who's like, let's take shots all night. And I was like, I need to sober up. Give me a Bud Light, please. And you're like, that's not it. Water. James, that's not it. That's not it. I do, I do want to be more Mexican. I honestly thought I looked Mexican. I thought I gave off the vibe. Until I met Mexicans at like a Dodger game. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, I'm white. <laughs> Lo siento, I'm white, sorry, sorry. I'm white, you're right, I'm white, not white. Mm -mm. No, I don't have kids, you're right, I'm white. <laughs> no baby daddies, I'm right. White, that is white, okay. I, uh, it's Sunday night, I'm unemployed, which is fun. <laughs> I'm employed. Thank you, fellow comedians, also here on a Sunday night. I'm on a, I don't mind it. I just hate that when I got laid off, my friends were like, great, babe, you hated that job. And I was like, no, but I, I hated it the same way married women hate their husbands. 
Like, yes, I'm gonna cry and bitch and complain about it, but I wasn't gonna leave, you know? I wasn't gonna quit. I need dinner, right? Like, I need somebody to support me. I wasn't gonna do it myself, come on. It's not until something better came along, that's for sure. That's I think the biggest question is everybody's always like, well, what are you gonna do for money? How do you make money? And I figured it out. I'm gonna start getting residuals, like actors do, from all of the guys I've dated. Like, if you've seen me naked and thought about it after, pay me. Okay, like, you're using my image and likeness, and I deserve some money for that, okay? So that's what it is. Like, imagine the nude photos I sent guys who still have it in their phone. Like, babe, you don't have to delete it. Just send me a monthly Zen Venmo. That'd be great. Like a little riches duel. You know what I mean? That'd be amazing. That'd be so good. And I know, I know, people are like, don't send nudes, Jessica, don't do that. And those people have dads, so that makes sense for them. <laughs> that makes sense? Because they're like, what if it ends up online and then you can never do things like run for political office? I'm like, babe, I have an 